Hello there everybody, hope you guys are having a good day today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to allow Bedrock Clans to connect to your Minecraft Java server. And this is done through a program called Geyser MC. Pretty fantastic and it works pretty well. There are a few things to be aware of when you are running this on your Java server. And I will mention that later on in the video. So let's go ahead and get started to adding this to your Minecraft server. So getting started, you want to come to geysermc.org. This link will be down in the description. And so go ahead and just go to the download page. And then in here, you can see different subsections. So we have a bungee cord, sponge, and velocity. So it's pretty cool because this also does work with bungee cord or spigot. So you can choose either one. In this video, I'm going to be using spigot. Uh, they all work pretty much the same way. Uh, but just go ahead and download the one that you need for your specific server. And so uh, next that you want to do if you come back to that home page again if you click installation this will take you to a wiki and so in here there is a few things uh, to be aware of the first thing is the floodgate and this basically allows you to bypass the restrictions if uh, the player does not have a java minecraft account so if you do not install this floodgate then the player has to log in via their java account and not their bedrock account so that kind of sort of defeats the purpose in a way if you want to allow all bedrock players so that is what I recommend that doing getting this floodgate and so here is what the floodgate is go ahead and just click this download and that will go ahead and download your floodgate so make sure it is the same one so this is going to be the bucket jar and you can place this in spigot or bucket um, I do recommend paper spigot over uh, the rest of them but go ahead and just download those two and so that is the two files that you will need all these will be linked down in the description so I'm using revive node for this video and and if you guys need a Minecraft host for yourself that you can run all these amazing servers on, be sure you check out Revive Node. Their link will be down in the description. And you can use my code STRIKER to save 15% off for three months. So make sure you guys go check them out. And we'll go ahead and just upload these jars and we'll wait for them to finish. After those plugins have been installed and you restart your server, you should get a folder right here with Floodgate as well as Geyser. And we're going to be going into the Geyser configurations. And so once you're in here, uh, this is what it should look like. And here is where you're going to be adding your uh, port to connect to your Minecraft server. And so uh, by default, usually this address, it can be left at 0.0.0. .0, um, you might need to put in your specific server IP, but if you're using Revive Node or a similar host uh, with Pterodactyl, then you can usually just leave this as 0.0.0. .0. And so um, that is gonna be fine for now. And then now we need the port. And to find the port, you can come down here to your allocation settings. And so uh, it will show you your primary port and then uh, any other additional ports and so as i mentioned this does depend on your host so uh, you could ask them to open a new port or just ask your server provider which ones are available to be used uh, for geyser and so we're going to be putting in this open port right here so that is the port for me and then here we have our motds and so this is what uh, will appear on the bedrock screen so we can put in like a strikers a server and then uh, you know this will go uh, through the second line as well so we'll do a fun amazing server guys right so be sure to join right there and then here is the server name so I'm just gonna call this uh, strikers server just like so and we'll put a space right there all right so now we have that set up so then we have this remote section and typically if you just leave this to auto it will go ahead and just auto grab the IP and port whatever your server is on so you don't really need to mess with that um, but the only thing you need to change is this authentication type since we are using Floodgate, uh, this basically allows uh, any type of Bedrock client to connect. They don't have to have a specific Java account. So this is what we're going to be using for the uh, authentication type is Floodgate. And so uh, that's pretty much it right there. There is a few other configurations uh, down here. Uh, you know, if you want to have the, the ping, uh, if you're using bungee cord or not, if you want to use uh, capes or something else. Uh, so there's a lot of various configurations all within here. So if you want to change some of the other options you can but those are the primary ones right here is this floodgate right here and the IPN port uh, for this specific geyser and so let's go ahead and save the file and then we're almost pretty much done at this point to be honest so we can go ahead and go back to our council tab real quick and then now we can do a geyser and then reload and then we'll go ahead and reload our configurations and then as you see here is the floodgate key here it is loading a geyser version and then here it does give us the successful 
successful done for our specific uh, IP and port that we added. So that is fantastic. So everything looks to be loaded up as it should be. And so let me go ahead and actually switch to my other screen. So I've started up my Bedrock Edition. So this is on Windows 10. I'm gonna head and add the server. So let's go ahead and add my server. And remember that we need to get our secondary IP and port that we added through our Minecraft server. So in here, um, I'm just gonna head and copy that and we'll go back to our screen. We'll call this my server and then we'll paste in our IP right here. And this is gonna be using our secondary port, which is 8103. And then let's go ahead and save that bad boy. And uh, here we go, let's see, and it is pinging. So let's go ahead and join the server. Let's see what happens. Alrighty guys, we are now on my Java Minecraft server using my Bedrock client. I, I must admit this is a little bit wonky using uh, the Bedrock here on the Java server. So the Geyser system is working perfectly, allowing us to join with our Bedrock clients. And you know, you can tell all your friends on Xbox to come join your Java Minecraft server. And you can have plugins from Java on here as well, which is pretty sweet guys. So I'm going to head and go back to my Java account to finish off the video. So here we are on my Java account and here is my uh, bedrock account a few things i do want to mention uh when using geyser is that the, the skins will be at alex or steve that is just how the conversion works when using a uh, geyser and floodgate together so just be aware of that the other thing is this name tag there's a little asterisk that indicates uh that that player is from bedrock and so sometimes account names do match so you might want to put another uh, symbol in there is besides the specific asterisk and the reason for that is because if you are using some more, some sort of permission plugins for example luck perms and you try to do lp user and try to input the user's name and then let's go ahead and like set them to you know like a default group as you see that username is invalid because it doesn't recognize the asterisk and that is actually going to be the same for any type of voting site sometimes the voting site won't recognize the asterisk there so uh, to change that i'm going to show you guys how you can do that so if we go back over to our minecraft server so in the floodgate config this is where you can change the prefix. I recommend setting it as an underscore because uh, that is acceptable for both usernames as well as voting sites and that just will match. So I do recommend setting it to that underscore um, and that will be pretty much recognized throughout all plugins. And then this option asks if the spaces should be replaced with underscore for bedrock name. I'm going to save this to set that to false. And then once you save that, you can go ahead and restart the server. If you guys enjoy these type of plugins, be sure you check out the Sangata Marketplace. That is today's video sponsor. They have loads of custom and amazing plugins, both free and premium. So make sure you guys go check them out down below in the description. So after restarting, as you see, the Bedrock Edition does have the underscore. So now if we go ahead and do LP user, and then now we can specify the user's name, we'll go ahead and set them in at the default group. As you see, it does now accept it just because that underscore is uh, totally fine to be accepting in various plugins. So that is how you fix that in case you were wondering. Else, that's pretty much all within the, the tutorial. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. All the links and their support with Discord will be down in the description as always. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace out.